another season of Bondi. I couldn't think of anything better. This place is the place to be. In the last seven years, 22 million people have come through Bondi. Amazing figures. Look at all the arms going up. Oh, wow. This job is serious, this job's raw. We are the end of the line down here. If it's not us, it's no one. We can go, go, Benny. We've had 900 medivacs. Cavalry's coming. And eight people brought back from the dead. Oh my guys, I've got a pulse. I have a pulse. I've never seen anything like it. That's the most people I've ever seen on Bondi. You've just sent 30,000 people into a frenzy. I want to get out. I'm expecting this year to be bigger than the past seven years. Bondi is a loud place. It definitely takes something pretty special to cut through that noise. Jennifer! 98% of the people we get at Bondi are awesome. Who are you? 2% that are rat bags that want to ruin it for everyone. Three, go! H is in a race for his job. He's got five minutes from the leader, or he'll be cut. Go, go H. H. Go, son. Bondi is a loud place. You've got up to 40,000 people on the beach. All different people playing their music, Brazilian people with their bongos, people playing the ball game, people screaming when the wave come. H on the megaphone. Girls asking Maxi for photos. Definitely takes something pretty special to cut through that noise. Please do not swim here. It's a fairly busy day and me and Jesse are just on the water's edge, sitting in uh, sitting in the rhino. You don't have to swim in this part. I was kind of looking at the water, concentrating, because there was a pretty bad rip running. Jennifer! You hear a noise, the background noise. You always hear noise. Jennifer! And it's getting louder and then louder. We've just got a missing kid, Jennifer! I know, named, uh, Jennifer. <laughs> but the mum, she's kind of like running around screaming out Jennifer, but she won't Jennifer! really tell us much more. A missing girl is a serious thing. Jennifer! Jennifer! Her name was Jennifer. She was 10 years old from Shanghai. And yeah, they come out here for Christmas. Hey, mate, was that her yelling? I could hear in the background. Yeah, screaming, top of her lungs. I'm not joking, she cleared the water for us. Mate, I can't believe it. Jennifer! Hit, yeah, the megaphone, it works good. Turn it right up and everyone will hear what you're saying. Jennifer! But I think Mum's on about level 12. We've only got level 10. Jennifer! Yeah, Box, I've got some more, mate. She's got, um... Jennifer! Pink shorts on. Pink shorts and uh, pink gloves. Yes, yes. And pink gloves, too. OK, copy that, mate. I've got the... Got the binoculars, gonna have a look, have a bit of a scarf there. Could be pretty easy to see with pink gloves on, eh? Jeez, say, wouldn't it? How many kids with pink gloves on? 30 degrees. Jennifer! Can you show my other lifeguard friend the photo of Jennifer? Yeah, yeah, I Jennifer. just picked the photo from her. Oh, okay. She just came in here, I just came in this before, you know? And she's got pink gloves on? Yeah. Okay, we should be able to see her then. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Central. The mum just showed us a photo, quite young. Um, she was playing in the sand and around the water's edge here. Okay, copy that, mate. We're doing our best. Five bucks, Robbo, first spot it. Jennifer! The worst thing that could have happened to Jennifer was drown or get kidnapped. It comes straight to your, straight to your mind straight away. It's just like, okay, we've got a missing person. Is she dead or is she alive? We definitely don't want to find her in the water floating face down. Yeah, look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that. You've got to really trust your instincts and look and think where a little girl might be. All little girls dress the same. They're wearing pink. Your eyes tune in to everything pink.
I tend to like look around and I can't see any pink. It's like there's pink everywhere, but I just can't see it. We haven't heard any confirmation from the tower. Jennifer! Any sign on Jennifer? Jennifer! Jennifer's mother! Jennifer's mum. <laughs> Hello? But she's definitely not she's definitely not in the water because we would have seen her. Got her, got her. Uh, Bondi Central Beauty, we've got location, mate, on the kid. She's got the gloves in her hand and she's looking around. I'm actually interested to see Jennifer myself, and I think the whole beach is too. Yeah, we found Jennifer. Yeah, mate, we're out. Surprisingly, she was not too far away. Definitely in her mum's earshot. Sit on the back and we'll take you to Jennifer. Yes, bro, what's her surname? Jennifer! What's her surname? What's your surname? Okay, where you are now, hit the left through the crowd, and then uh, if you guys follow your nose straight, you'll run straight into it. Hey, Jennifer! Oh, yeah! Hello? Is that your mum, Jennifer? She's been worried. Jennifer, where are you? What's happening to you? I know if I was Jennifer's mum, I wouldn't be able to speak the next day. She was worried. Yeah, Thank you very that's much. okay. Was, your mum was worried about you, Jennifer. Yeah. She was calling yeah. out. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. No more tears. Yeah, I was scared too. Let's uh, uh, Yeah, jelly. See you, Jennifer. Thank Bye-bye. You. That's all right. You know, because I was sent the message, after, you know, just take me two minutes. While, you know, while I look at her, I, I lost her, you know. My heart jumped to here. Thank you for your help. Thank you so much. I never got to the bottom of the pink rubber gloves. Is she going to get, like, a disease or something off the sand? Bondi is a beautiful beach, and we get people from all over Sydney, all over the country, and all over the world coming to visit. 98% of the people we get at Bondi are awesome. Get the f***ing camera off my front drop, yeah! And, uh, and then I guess you've got 2% that are ratbags that want to ruin it for everyone. He was the one with the drug stop, me. You saw him! Uh, right over Central. Yeah, they just got a uh, confirmed scoping of bags by a couple. They're just right on the uh, train tower, right on the water's edge. Bisho's just radiated through. There's a guy who's come up to him saying that there's a couple of people who have been getting around the beach looking a bit suspicious. Mate, appreciate it. We'll keep an eye on His name's Hayden, and he's been onto these guys for nearly an hour now. Yeah, I've got the girl. The guy's behind the jet ski sign. Just put the camera on him, keep an eye on him, and, and see what happens, buddy. Copy, mate. They fit the bill. We really love catching bag thieves. It just saves someone from having a really bad day. Except the bag thief, maybe he's gonna have a bad day. Have you got him ready? Yeah. There's the girl. Down. I got him. You get an idea when people are not quite right. When you see them generally, they won't just go straight and sit down. They'll wander through and they'll zigzag and move around until they're looking around at 360 degrees. About 30 metres in front of the boys, down towards the on the water's edge. They sit down, do they? No, that's oh, no, I've got him, yep, I've got him. Red bag. I've got him here on it. There's a bag on its own with shoes. Yeah. We'll get him. The way we catch these guys is we use our CCTV cameras and then get the footage. Then we can go down and detain them and then pass them on to the police. Oh, they just, oh, they just went, that was a stolen bag. They just went through it all. Pulled the wallet out. Yeah, he's two. Oh. Okay. He's two. That's the bag they had. He's going back. So they've done it, right? Walked away. And what they've done, they'll come back and people will think both bags are theirs. Let's see if they take the red one. You watch. Red one. I'll take the red as well. 
We're not the only ones watching the bag thief. Hayden is also on the case. Should we go and get him? They've split up. Guy's gone one way, girl's gone the other. Got him, blokes just fronted him. Mate, they're having a fight outside Bondi Circle right now. Oh, yeah. I don't think the crook was expecting a punch up on the promenade. He uh, bit off more than he could chew. Oh, no. He's chasing him out the back of the circle. They're going behind the bucket list. You're caught, buddy. Yes, oh, away, this is robbery. Yeah, yeah. Walk him out to the grass. Yeah, people came from all angles. It was great. You had parkies, you had lifeguards, you had people from the public. Who the f are you? We're the good guys, mate. Yeah. Charging your pants for yourself. Let go of your shirt, buddy. Police, please. I'm just with the lifeguards down at Bondo. We've caught a bag thief out of the back of the pavilion, but he's sort of been aggressive, and there seems to be a fight unfolding at the back of the pavilion. Yeah, he definitely wasn't a big bloke, but for his size, he was super strong. It took, like, five of us to hold him still. He's pretty aggro, though. I wouldn't want him to let him go at all. What is going on? You stole a bag off the beach. I didn't steal that bag. I had my own bag. And he left with a red bag, but... Hurry up! Shush. Right, mate. mate, calm down. There's kids around. With a citizen's arrest, you can only use reasonable force. If you go further than that, then he can get off scot-free and you can be in some trouble. You haven't been... An unlawful arrest. Mate, yeah, I want these officers, whoever the f these f are, to charge. Yep, they're Who the f are you? Just calm down. None of you have even produced badges or nothing at me. Yeah, they're coming, mate. Who are you? Bag thief, welcome to Bondi. Don't try and bite him, mate. I'm not a bit no. No, you try to. No, I'd put some cuffs on him straight away. Hey, mate, you're under arrest, alright? Yeah, I don't even know what for. You can rush it all on uh, Bondo Rescue, buddy. It's a good little sting. I'm wrapped to be involved. Hayden's story is that he's had his bag stolen in the past and now he's really passionate to catch all thieves that are stealing on the beach. Yeah, we've got him. We've been watching him for about 24 yeah, minutes. Well, I told you guys to do that. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then that's when they, um, they went and took one. We'll just go back to the police station and work it all out. So why does the victim have to go back filming? to the police station? Oh, you're not a f***ing throw me in I'm pretty bummed we didn't get the girl. You know, we got her on video. Maybe the cops will get her later. The best part for me was seeing all the local people stand up. And they hate seeing it as much as we do. And it was unreal to have a few of the local guys involved and, and a few civilians kind of just jumping in to help out. Good guys, mate. Hopefully it sends a message to the rest of them out there that we're onto them and we know they're doing it and we'll, um, we'll throw the book at them. There's a guy in the southern corner. Harry. There's a Harry south corner. Yeah, H, they've got their hands up, mate. You have to go and get him. I'm on the way, mate. H is one of the lifeguards down here that I look up to. He knows more about this place than anyone else that works down here. I've spent my whole life in the ocean since I was a kid. I could swim before I could walk. Come on, H. Get out there. For me, it's doing what I absolutely love. Never swim outside the flat. Yeah. Okay? H is now 63 and it's getting a lot harder every year for him to pass a fitness test. Every lifeguard has to pass the ocean test to get their job. You've got to meet the standard. Got to put the team together again this season and H is on the borderline. And it's run around the uh, witch's hats. The M-shaped course 
is a swim, board and a run, and they need to go through that twice. Once that first person crosses the line, it's up to everyone else to finish within five minutes. Mate, I'm like this, I'm so nervous. <laughs> my job's my job as long as I pass the test. End of subject. Uh, thanks, Corey. No worries, legend. XL 2 mil tape should keep the uh, sea dog quite warm. The young guys, they've all got these brand new suits. H is wearing a massive wetsuit. I don't think it's doing him any favours at all, and he can't afford to lose any time. Is there any handicap for the old sea dog? Can I start there? Three, go! <laughs> I thought I'd give him a little tap. So he got about probably four or five steps on him. So it's going to be difficult for him. Come on, beat Harry! Dean's got a good lead at the moment, so hopefully H can hang on here and doesn't drop too much time. If I fail this test today, it would be a whole rehash of my life. H is shaving it very, very tight if he does the same time for the second half. Probably about three minutes behind at the moment. Yeah, I've always love to give him some encouragement to run him through it. So hopefully he'll... Uh... He'll hang on, but his stop paddling's not real good. Oh. He actually stops, and I'm wondering whether he's waiting for a wave or whether he's actually having a heart attack. Take me back to the sweet times, the hot nights. Everything is gonna be all right in the summertime. Baby, in the summertime, that is where. Yeah, the wetsuit. I was trying to undo the stupid yoke thing, but uh, I was in, in a bit of, <laughs> I was quite tired, actually. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I know I'm going to make it because I've done the work. All the boys have a, a different way of, of training over winter time. I'd go over to the warmth of Java. It's 32 degrees, beautiful sunny. I'm swimming in the lagoon, running in the jungle, surfing. It's not training. I hate training. I, I think training should be banned. And my dream takes me back to the nightmare of the lifeguard test each year. I think H, looking at him coming back, he'll need every edge he can get. The first guy goes across the line, and that's when the time starts. We've got five minutes to get across that line, or no more job. Dino's gone all out. He's crossed the line. H now has five minutes. Yeah, H man, he sort of lapped him and called out a bit of encouragement as I went past. I know I could be one of the guys up the front there pushing it, but I'd prefer to be up the back pushing guys like H man across the line. That's as hard as I can go. That's 100%, and I pride myself on being able to get out and preserve human life. For me, being an old sea dog, Sea dogs don't panic. We know what's going on. I've done it too many times. You've got to pace yourself. Yeah, H. Big last run, mate. H gives me so much knowledge about this place and being a lifeguard. If I can give back to him by getting him across that line, then I'm happy to give that to him. You know, as far as lifeguarding goes, it's fantastic in life if you do what you love. I love life, I love lifeguarding. It's gratifying. Plus, you're looking after people. Oh, he's got about a minute and a half. Go, H. 50 minutes. Go, H. Go, son. Go, get everything you got down here, H. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, push, push, push. Everything you got. Go, H. At the end of the day, it's great to see the teamwork and how much they actually want H to be here this season on the service. That's it, well done. Well done. Is it? 23, 28. <laughs> it's got 25 seconds to spare. You can't get any closer than that. Water was beautiful. The dugongs aren't made to run on the sand. Once I get through the, the test, I just feel light. It's a great feeling of another chapter.
All the team is now set. It's great to have everyone back. And I think this summer is going to be better than ever. Ooh, another one down. I love it. It's the wettest Christmas day in 72 years. Don't worry about getting a tack by polar vest. Got to be a better way to spend Christmas than rescuing pommies in the driving rain. Yeah, we've got a new trainer this year, Taco. You know, it's taken a little while to find his feet. Why is it being so over exaggerated? You nearly killed someone. It's all full on down at Bondi on Christmas Day.